everybody. I just wanted to talk about the whole student loan thing. I think like so many other issues, and I'm thinking of health care, I think that this issue is being framed incorrectly. The idea of student borrowing, it's a good thing, but it's been mishandled for decades. What happens is, you know, you'll start off with a government loan, or Sally Mae, you know, and then it'll get bought by a financing company, and they'll raise the interest rate. And uh, these interest rates are ridiculous. That's the real issue, and that's the real problem. I got my master's in psychology, and, you know, uh, I paid, first few years I was paying the minimum payment. Well, the interest rate was so high that I was only paying the interest. Got a Obviously, that's all on me, and that's my fault, but I, I do think that they take advantage of those who want to become professionals um, by jacking up that interest rate. So I don't know if Biden's proposal is going to be effective. I think, sadly, it's probably just a repackaging and redistribution for the benefit of somebody, just like with um, health care where the insurers definitely – just consolidated their power and they're still making the most money and then the hospitals and healthcare providers are also, you know, jacking up their prices because they know that it's basically government subsidized. Instead of having competition and really good, really, really good top of the line health care. I think for, for far too long this has been um a very mismanaged, poorly run system. And the fact that Biden's doing it now, I definitely think it's just because of the election. He wouldn't do it before. Now he's all of a sudden doing it. And again, I don't know if the solutions that they're proposing are will be working. It's funny that Susan Rice is the one to be talking about it today. God, I don't even know what her position is. It was National Security Advisor, of course, under Obama. I don't know what it is now, but clearly in a more domestic capacity.